Awesome ladies, welcome, welcome, hello, hello. In this video, we're working on board break, okay? The whole school is doing the same board break, uh, psychic, okay? And we're gonna do different levels, we're gonna do different levels, okay? Tigers, we're gonna work on just regular psychics. We are here working on ah, exploding, making it strong, making it awesome. For low ranks, high ranks, and adult, we're working on rotating over and boom, pushing, and the awesome reverse psychic. I have some tools with me to help me in this video to work on my board break at home. Okay, so you could choose the your level as far as what you have at your house to work on this board break. Okay, the very first one working on, this is precision. Okay, part of board break is hitting the right point on the board. That's the hardest part, is hitting not, not here, not there, not here, not there, hit the dead center on the line. And that's the hardest part, and that's what this is. Everyone has like an ATA in their a weapon, or you can grab a pool noodle and draw a circle, whatever you want to do, and you hold it out. You hold it here, hold it here, different ways. Okay, if you hold it straight up, this is harder because this can be exactly middle. Okay, if you hold it here, this can be the line that you have to hit on, and the ATA is the middle. So your choice, and you're working at home. Um, same for the tigers, you're going to cycle that way. Okay, the next tool I have is the paper. So once you have the precision down, um, parents, we can do it, you just hold the top bottom and you hold it tight and then the, your child or student can go through the board or through the paper and this is where you're more empowered and going through and not just touching and pulling back with a combo weapon you're going to touch and pull back because precision is not power it's just can I put my foot in the right space in the air and control my body this is going through the paper as strong as I can so that's that and the last one is if you I know a lot of our parents have boards at home for the sidekick board break the line is flat Okay, because my foot is flat. Okay, so the line has to be here. When you hold it, hold top, bottom. I know we kind of made a video um, in the past. When you hold the boards, when you hold it, you just flex it in slightly to get us some flex because the, the, the teeth, as we call it, um, if you just hold it regular, it's just going to sit in its like hole and just not move. You have to kind of give it some flex to get the grip and so it can lock. So when you're a child student, and actually make the contact and breaks it, it can actually go through and do the right way. If not, it's just gonna bend and then bend back. Be like, ur, 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 and then just bend. Okay. So I'm gonna bring Miss Ashley to come on out to join us. Okay. So Miss Ashley, would you like to break or you want to be the? I'll hold for you since last time I broke. Awesome. Okay. So first, let's do step one at a time. Let's do precision first. Okay. Watch. So tigers, you're gonna be here when you do the board break. Parents, this is very important. Do not. Let your tiger step in front. If you step in front, you're either gonna trip and fall, my hips turn, and if I ain't, if whatever I do is gonna become a round kick. Always. So when we're getting home, you can work on make sure the tigers where you need to step together, stand tall with a black belt, pick your knee up, and then push. Or the other one, which is also great, is you can go behind, because that turns my hips away, and I can push bah, oh, bah, with the tiger. You did it the last second. Wow. So one thing. One is together. Ooh. Level two is behind. Bah. Just like that. Okay. High ranks. Okay. Uh, actually, let's do all the tigers first. So if, if you're in paper, man. Yes, so I'm not gonna break it. Uh, but when you hold it, it's actually tight. I sit together and bah, and I'm gonna kick through, try and push through. For uh, parents, I know when you watch the class, a lot of times we say you just have four things: chamber, kick, re chamber, down. For board breaks, don't reach chamber, okay? Because we want you to go through the board. Because a lot of our tigers and students, all in this space, they kick and they pull back. They just go. Ah! That's it. Because then that's what we work on in class. As far as kick and pull back for boards, I'm gonna go in front as you can kind of see. I'm gonna go bah, and I come in here. All the way into my space. Land all the way. I'm Sasha. I keep saying in her zone, okay? So you can go through the board, okay? So now if you got the board. So parents, you have boards at home. Boom! I'm gonna either step together or step behind. I'm gonna step behind. Yeah! Oh no! I didn't break a first try. So what do I do, Tigers? Try, try it again. again. So here. Yeah! And I landed all over. Nice face. So see that? Perfect. That's our Tigers. Okay. So now let's do the next level, which is our um, low ranks, uh, high ranks, and adults. So for this one, we're doing reverse side kick. Okay. For reverse side kick, and okay, we're gonna turn, bring your back leg, and we're gonna push. Ah, when you set up for a reverse side kick, this is really crucial. Do not line up here. If you line up here, when I turn, I'm gonna hit true Miss Ashley's hand, and if I try to hit the ATA, I'm gonna go like this every time. 
So when you line up, you need to line up on what we call the outside of the board. So my fingers should touch the end of the weapon. And then from here, as I turn, my foot can easily be placed in the middle. Okay, so I don't have to do extra work. I just turn and go straight. That's what psychics are. Psychic is a straight motion. I'm not trying to, uh, uh. okay, that's our round kicks. That's our hook kicks. They go this way. Our front and sides go straight. Okay, once again, go to the outside. I'm going to turn. And leaders, all of our legs and arms are different. So for me, I have learned in the years, I can put my hands, my fingertips to the board and break it. Bop. I have long arms. <laughs> so you might have to get a little closer, a little farther, and this is what this is great to work on. The precision, get the distance. It's gonna help your sparring, it's gonna help your forms, it's gonna help your boards if you can understand how long you are. Okay. The paper. Once again, boom. Work my hands to the outside of the paper, as I turn, boom. And then come back. Okay, if you notice what I did, I actually put my foot in and let my foot sit in. This is gonna help you work on going through the board. And you don't want to worry about balance because your mom, dad, parent, whoever was working with you uh, that day can help you. So as I turn, and then come back. Full extension. And then when you're ready, you can let mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, cousin, auntie, whoever's with you, it's like, I'm ready to go. And then turn, just like that. And, didn't have a good hold. <laughs> and then the board. Now the board, same thing. Once again, line is down. Not that, sorry. Not like this. Yes, this. thank you. Like that. <laughs> Horizontal. Thank you. Better one. <laughs> My hands can be on the outside of the board. Don't be like this is outside board. The whole body <laughs> needs to be on the outside board. And I turn, when I turn, I come up, and you notice my foot easily can come in place. Easy peasy. But like we talked about last session, head, shoulders, knees, toes. If I go like this, I can't break it. Okay, I twist it the other way. So I need to turn, see it. Yeah, woo -hoo. Oh, I didn't hit the right place. Uh, I either got to go back to precision or Try it again. Or I can raise the board. Or I can like, oh, if you raise the board. I turn. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's try to do it again. So I got to try again. And this might happen to me. As far as you can't break the first try, you keep on going. Okay. Two life skill strikes to anybody who can tell me what he didn't do in order to break the board. Ooh. Why didn't that board break for him? Ooh. So after I go, I measure. Okay. This is a good height for me as I turn. Yeah. Oh, no. I hit too loud. So I got to go again. And as you do this, this is what board break is. is I learned, okay, I need to be huh? Hey, I need to make sure I'm clean. The whole good nine yards. Yeah! Woo! Just like that. Okay, once it's done right, it's the middle, I'm good to go. When you're at home, board breaking, yes, it is very upsetting because it tells you instantly you did it right or wrong. And a lot of times we don't like to be wrong. Nah, because it's cut and dry. It's like, man, I didn't do it right. We always want to do the right thing. Now, I totally understand that. But, but boards is something that we can help us learn as far as. If I can't do it right away, try it again. Try again. Okay, and if I try again and it's still not working, okay, what can I improve or change to make it better? As far as, oh, I raised it, I dropped it. I, instead of kick and pull back and land it back here. Follow through. Follow through, or I didn't, was on the right place. And it's gonna really help you by precision, by the follow through. And if you have a board to work on just consistent hitting. A lot of times, sometimes, is I just need to go, bah, and you go through it. And that means you use confidence. So a lot of us work in different aspects in our journey. So don't be upset with yourself. Okay? Part of our black belt life skill is perseverance. And that means never giving up, no matter what. We talk about it all the time. Try, try again. It's okay if you don't do the first try. You have a million tries extra. Okay? And if you can't do it the first time, just like the back walls you can see, I think, in the screen. But today I'm possible, tomorrow I'm possible. So you try 10 times today, didn't work, come back tomorrow, try again. Precision, try the paper. Then hit the board again. Didn't work, try it again. Try again. And then as you do it, you'll get better, better, whether it's the rotation, whether it's the follow through, whether it's seeing your target and hitting it. Hey, all this practice is not for nothing. So keep just doing. think about all the things you're learning when you make those mistakes. That's how you learn things. That's Mist how you get better. Yeah, mistakes are great. I know we all have, I make mistakes all the time. The goal is not to make the same mistakes over and over. So if I made a mistake, I try to improve it. Just like I did, I didn't break the board, I tried to lower it. Okay, that didn't work, I put it over here, I put it there, and then last time, so you see it. So, awesome job. Yay. ATA.